Good evening, everyone. Here I am tonight, but I have a little girl tonight. <laughs> I decided to have a girl's night tonight and not dress any of the boys. It was time for me to play with one of my baby girls. So, I chose my little princess. <laughs> <laughs> As I call this baby, this is my little princess in the nursery. And right now you're looking at the back of her head. Um, I'm just having some little cuddling time with her. Um, this is my little Lee, which sometimes I call her Lee Asia. For those who don't know, um, if you're watching for the first time, she is... The Lee QE Scope, and she was produced by Claire Taylor Dolls. Um, she was poured into silicone by Claire Taylor, and she was sculpted by Tina QE. And this is another baby that I was just totally over the moon with when I got her, and still am. She's like one of my favorite babies. Um, she's a partial silicone with a uh, full anatomically correct girl belly plate. She's Ecoflex 20. She has full arms, full legs. Um, no, Ecoflex 30. I'm sorry. She's Ecoflex 30 platinum silicone. And I'm just crazy about her. Um, she is a little chunky little chubby baby girl and that is definitely what did i do with her bottle that is definitely definitely something i like about this particular baby is her size i really love how chubby she is and i love her silicone as i've said she has like such realistic um looking silicone it looks her her silicone looks like flesh to me really 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 like flesh and a lot of my babies look very realistic um but i would say her silicone the way it's i don't know if it's the way it's painted probably hers just looks completely different from all of the other babies it's just the weirdest thing. <laughs> um, I just sit and stare at her sometimes. Um, she has those really bent legs. If you watched my video last night where I was saying how some of my baby's legs are um, not mobile. You can't move them or flop them. Her legs are bent where they're not going to move too much. Um, and they're not on one of those joints where you can kind of move the legs on her cloth body they're pretty much her legs are stationary so but i love how chunky her legs are and she has these nice size feet her feet are so like a real baby's feet like the size of them the, the chubbiness of her feet and her toes so it's like i said because i like other things about her I overlook the extremely bent legs that you can't really flop them around. You know how you just pick out the things you like on the doll and it kind of overwinds the things that you might not really care for. Like also her feet are really, really pink, um, overly pink. So that's something else I would not have really preferred. Um... But again, because I like the way her feet are and they look so real, I overlook the fact that, you know, they're really pink. So that's what, you know, when I was saying sometimes you'll settle for certain things in the doll in a way because there's other things you like about the doll. So that's what I was referring to. Like this baby, I just love her. I love, love, love this baby. But she has some things that I, you know, I would choose to change if I could. <laughs> like, if I was to get her repainted, I would definitely tell them, you know, the artist, don't make her feet so pink. Take away some of the pink pinkness in her feet. 
that is really the only thing with her. I would take away. And then she has her toenails overly white tipped and she has those half moons on it and it's too white. I would take that away also. But other than that, I wouldn't change anything about this little chubby little baby. <laughs> I wouldn't change anything else about her. She is just adorable. And she's so soft. Even though she's Ecoflex 30, she is just so, you know, really, her silicone is really soft. Like my... Zen, he's Ecoflex 30. Zen by Claire Taylor. And this baby silicone was poured by Claire Taylor. But so strangely, this baby silicone is softer than Zen's. And it was poured both by Claire Taylor. But I believe Zen is an older baby than this baby. So that could have something to do with it. As I said, also over time, certain things the artist may change. Even the way they mix their silicone could possibly be different as they improve their skills and find different things that work better than other things. They will tend to change stuff over time. And this baby, I rooted her hair myself. <laughs> as I said, um, she came to me with painted hair. She was the first silicone baby I ever seen with painted hair. And at first I liked it, but then as time went on, I didn't like it because it was supposed to be black, but it didn't really look black. It looked more like a um, off black color. It wasn't black enough, so I just figured I'd root it. And I'm so attached to this baby that... I didn't want to send her out to have her rooted or even her paint touched up in certain spots. I am like terrified to send this baby out, any of my babies, but especially this one. Because <laughs> I'm like so bonded with this baby. Also, I don't want to send her anywhere to get anything done. I mean, eventually maybe I'll do it, but right now I, I just haven't made up my mind to do it. Excuse any girly bits. I'm going to change her into a Huggies diaper. And change her out of her cloth diaper. So I finally managed to let little Mr. Chance, baby Chance Taylor, <laughs> get a little break today. I did take some pictures of him a little while ago to put on Instagram because I didn't put any up today. I just did it a little while ago. But I didn't change him. I left him in his little same outfit. And I didn't mess with him today too much. I was trying to restrain myself. So I said, let me change somebody else today. Give somebody else a chance. So I figured I'd change a little girl today. And this little one hasn't been changed in a couple of, maybe a week or so, or two, possibly. So I figured she was overdue for some mommy and me time. Right, Leasia? You had waited long enough. I just love, love, love how chubby she is and her little belly. This is her belly plate. And it has such nice details and veining on her little belly plate. Very, very detailed. So we are going to put a pajama on her tonight. I'm trying to let the babies wear their pajamas while they still can wear them um, before the weather gets really warm. So she's wearing this one tonight with the little cat on it and the hearts and it has a little cat on the back and the little cat on the feet. 
and this is a zero to three months which she usually fits actually it says three months and I'm still trying to figure out those three months means it's bigger than zero to three months still haven't really found the answer to that question <laughs> or is it just the same thing basically if anybody knows the answer to that question please comment below is three months the same as zero to three I mean it looks about the same but I don't know And sleepers just make them so cuddly to hold. I think sleep they're cu more cuddly in sleepers if you're planning on holding them than they are if they only have on a t-shirt. The sleeper just adds to the cuddle factor. But when you have them in just like a t-shirt or a onesie, they look really cute when you can see their skin. You know, their silicone. But if you actually want to sit and hold them and watch TV with them and cuddle, then I think sleepers work better for that. Or those little infant gowns or something. And I am enjoying my glider. As y'all might have noticed, my little rocker I'm sitting in. <laughs> I am really enjoying this, this glider. It is so comfortable to sit in. Um, if you notice, like my past at least three videos now that since I got this glider for the past two days, I've changed the baby sitting in it. <laughs> I have not changed anybody on the changing table if you guys notice that. I am really enjoying this glider, I tell you. I took too long to get this. I even watch TV sitting in it now instead of sitting on my bed. I've been sitting in this glider even off camera watching TV. And when I hold my babies, I'm sitting right in this glider. I think it's so relaxing to just rock and hold them while I'm watching TV. So I'm telling you, it's, it's a nice, really comfortable chair to sit in. For those who have space for one, I would recommend getting one. <laughs> if you have space in your room to put it, it's definitely a nice, comfortable chair to sit in. I didn't think it was going to be this comfortable. I really didn't. So it is definitely a nice addition in my bedroom and for holding my babies. I haven't used the ottoman though. The ottoman is like it's a table for me. <laughs> As you can see, I ends up sitting this baby stuff on it while I'm doing my videos. I really I haven't really used it to prop up my feet yet. Cause when I'm doing a video, it would be in the way. Because I have to have room for my camera to sit on the table in front of me. So there is nowhere to put it if I'm doing a video. So I have to try it when I'm off camera and I'm sitting here watching TV. I could prop up my feet. So this is fitting her. And because her legs are so bent, you have to have space in the sleepers or clothes for these bent legs. Because it tends to stretch the clothes right across here. So you definitely have to get her clothes you know where they're going to be big enough across the leg area. And that's her little tushy with her cat on it. So I'm going to put a hat on this hair. She's had a hat on the whole time. Since I haven't changed her. So her hair is a little bit messy. But I'm going to try this little hat on her. Um, with the bow. This is her sister's hat actually. But I'm going to let her try it on. It stretches nice. That's one thing about this material. It pretty much fits all the baby's head because it stretches so nicely. The little hospital hats. This one is so cute. I ordered this hat all the way from China. And it is um it was only a dollar ninety one cent or something like that. Free shipping. The only thing is 
it takes like, uh, it took at least a month before I got it. But it's worth it because it's, you know, the price is really cheap and the hat is really nice. And it actually fits the baby's heads. I thought it was going to be too big because other stuff, as I said, when I ordered from China, the sizing be off and it be gigantic. But this hat is actually a newborn infant hat size. So I ended up ordering another one the other day in a different color. It's still pink and white. It's just different. It doesn't have the stripes. So there she is, mommy's girl. Look at her with the little hat on. And I love her lips, as I said. I took out um her my favorite passy to um nook silicone, but I'm not gonna give it to her right now. She just looks cute without it. Right, little girl? And she has a little wobbly head too. On her cloth body, you have to hold her head because it will just wobble all over the place. So that is it for tonight with my video. I just wanted to come on and chat a little bit and change my little princess. And that is it for tonight. That was my little downtime before I go to bed. And I'm going to put her to bed. So we will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.